ready to let the devil know that Jesus is still king of the universe. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So after the media presentation, which I want you to please pay attention to, rapt attention to the media presentation, the next voice you'll be hearing will be that of Professor John Kennedy Opara, who is a great man of God and also the chairman of the CSS group. Thank you very much. His first time here at Koinonia. We honor you, sir, in the name of Jesus Christ. Media, are you ready for us? God bless you. Integrated farms. Excellence is our culture. Creativity is our brand. Passion is our inspiration. Shout hallelujah. Our Lord is good. Thank you so very much. Please be seated. My beloved brother, the man that carries double anointing and double grace. Paul the apostle said in Ephesians 4 7, he said, Grace is given by measure. Sir, I'm really honored to be in this place today. This is the first time, in spite of our relationship, for me to enter here. But one thing he knows, I'm always connected to him up to 4 a.m., praying along with him when I go to the chapel. I am really, really blessed to be here today. Few, few days back, I arrived in California to chair a meeting of the International Businessmen Fellowship uh, 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 meeting. And the people said to me, Please, when are you bringing Apostle back? <laughs> he ministered at the World Convention and they are asking me to bring him back to America to minister at our convention. I said, well, <laughs> to get him is not easy. Sir, thank you very much for this privilege. <laughs> By the grace of God, he has mentioned my name. I serve four presidents in this country. Started with President Obasanjo through to President Buhari before I left government. And in one of the assignments I do, I was nicknamed the number one pilgrimage officer for Nigeria. And because of that privilege, I had to take the president of Nigeria and 14 governors and four deputies, including the senior president now, and so many others to the state of Israel. And we are hosted by my friend, the prime minister, of Israel. In one of those meetings, he said to us, the food Israel will eat in 15 years, we already have. The governors, the president, everybody was clapping. I decided to go to him and I said, Prime Minister, I think you made a mistake. He said, no. John, Israel have conquered food security, sustainability through technology. And if you are interested, we would like to go through with you. And that is what gave birth to what I'm about to share in a few minutes. Today, by the mercy of God, it might interest you to know that the only Nigerian president that have gone as a president to the state of Israel was Jonathan, and it was through my instrumentality and by the mercy of God as the head of the pilgrimage commission. Today, I'm going to talk to you about something. Every one of us, we can feel the pain, the pause, food security, sustainability, acute scarcity, inflation, famine, everything you can name it. And we're all lamenting. You can lament from now till Jesus come if you don't do something, nothing changes. Scarcity was what produced prosperity in Egypt. Scarcity was what made Joseph the Prime Minister of Israel. 
I mean, Egypt. So whatever scarcity we are facing today, we can conquer it. Let me take you on a journey. Do you know Nigeria, by the mercy of God, is so blessed. God gave us 40 million hectares of land. And we are the highest producer of yam in the whole world. 76% of what the world consumes in terms of yam is produced by Nigeria. Yet, Nigeria is not in the list of 10 exporting nations of yam. What a tragedy. We are doing 65 million metric tons of yam. Ghana is number two. Yet, Ghana is number one in the export of yam in this whole world. Ghana in 2021-2022 earned 38.5 million US dollars from yam export alone. Are you aware that Zakibiam is the largest market of yam in the whole of this world? Yet, Benue don't get one dollar from yam export. What a tragedy. Two, Nigeria is the highest producer of cassava in the whole world. If you look at the chain of nations that export cassava, Thailand, that is number three, is the highest exporter of, of, of cassava. Today, we go to China, buy machines for processing of cassava. What are we doing with cassava? Nothing. And we are lamenting. Why will food not go up? Only three states in Nigeria can feed the whole of Africa. I was speaking at the 31st and 2nd uh, Convocation Lecture of Food Mina, and I said, Niger said is a state with 7.6 million hectares of land. Israel, as a nation, is 23,000 square kilometers of land. That's 2.3 hectares. And Israel, in 2021, earned $16.5 billion from agricultural processing export. And the import, what Israel imported to their country, $3.5 billion. We are shouting, dollar is rising, dollar is rising. Why will it not rise? Once your export value exceeds your import value, what happens? Your dollar will continue to increase. You don't solve a problem by doing nothing. I've come to challenge us today. You saw the video of CSS. I said to them, Every single thing we need, we produce in CSS. We are doing more than 32 products in CSS. We train young men. We train young women. We let them know the future you cannot capture, you can't control. Sorrow and pain was what gave birth to Ruth. Ruth, by the scripture in Ruth, in Ruth chapter 4, verse 22, brought Obed. Obed gave birth to who? Jesse. Jesse brought David. Jesus came from where? The same lineage. So in the midst of this pain and sorrow, we need men and women like Apostle. He has taken a giant and He said he wants to train between 100 and 200 youth to empower them, expose them in agriculture so that when they come, they will define our country. Every single one of us, are you aware? Do you know Nigeria consumes 4.5 million metric tons of fish every year? And yet we are producing one million metric tons. Every single one of you seated here can grow fish in your house through just small containers. And you are getting money and you are making money. And you are contributing to the national quota. Look, no government alone can solve the problem of its people. But we have to do something. And that's what he has decided to do. To be able to say, let's do something. Do you know... I went to Norway some time ago, and they said to me, look, Nigeria imports 8 million euro worth of fish from Norway. Norway is very small, smaller than Abuja. Am I communicating? We have to do something. Otherwise, nothing will happen. So I've come to encourage you and let you know that what he's doing is unusual. And we can start today to see how we can change our mindset. Today, the average woman in the market is counting on dollar. What business do you have with dollar if you are producing what you need? We are chasing shadows. Sir, I really pray that by your step today, many people will come to say, let's key in. We are changing things. We are changing the narratives. People are looking up to us. I was doing a study. Look at, we need, out of the 8 million metric tons of paddy we produce in Nigeria. We consume more than 12 million metric tons 
of what party? Now, let me tell you, Lagos State alone produces about 360 million gallons of water. 25% of that water can give us 80% of what we need. Yet, it's wasted. I told them, Sirodo Dam, Sirodo Dam give us 700 megawatts of power. What a nest. You should be doing 24 hours farming. Israel, as a nation, experiences one rainfall in a whole year. Yet, they're able to come. 90% of what they get is recycled. In CSS, we have waste to wealth. Every raw material, every waste material, every paper, we convert it to something. We produce paper crate for it. Every department is a raw material to the other department. And we have target. Yesterday, I sat through with them all through the night. We are looking at our NPR. Every month, every department will decide what you are doing and you give us your result. And if we can begin to empower youth, people, I believe Nigeria will change. There's always a job for any man on top of his profession. God bless you. Have a wonderful day. Hallelujah.